Today's recipe for me is a special one. It's my mom's, filled with fluffy rice, pine nuts, raisins, herbs, and cooked on a bed of fresh tomatoes. Now these peppers are just beautiful. They're very firm, they have taut skin, they're pretty when they're baked, and you can use red peppers or green peppers. Now this one will have a hard time standing up, so you can just take off a little bit of the bottom. Yeah, now it stands. Try not to pierce the uh, flesh because you want this filling to stay in the pepper. This one, it's nice and blocky and even, and it stands up nicely. So this has this top, and this has this top, and we're ready to go with our filling. Now, first thing to do is soak three quarters of a cup of plump raisins with a half of a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. The raisins are so good when they're soaked like this and they get really nice and plump. Now cook your rice. Now you can use already cooked rice, or if you don't have any, cook one cup of rice in two cups of water. Long grain rice is very popular because after cooking, the grains remain fluffy and separate. So that's what you should choose for this particular dish. Uh, something like a basmati rice or a long grain white rice. A good choice. In another pot, we can start the filling. Now in this pot are four tablespoons of butter. Saute one small white onion or yellow onion, finely chopped, and add two shallots. A little more flavorful than the basic onion, and it adds a nice color and another slightly different flavor to the stuffed peppers. So salt and pepper, let those onions saute. So now the rice is boiling. Reduce the heat and cook for approximately 15 minutes. And as soon as the onions become translucent, add one yellow pepper, finely chopped, two sprigs of fresh thyme, just the nice leaves. Mmm, it smells good. A quarter of a cup of basil leaves, finely chopped and the three quarters of a cup of raisins soaked in the orange juice. Nice and plump. I'll add my pignoli nuts. These are one quarter of a cup of pine nuts or pignoli nuts that I've lightly toasted on a tray in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes, just until they're golden, just until they're aromatic. And now you can add to this the cooked rice. Obviously this rice is not quite done, but I do have what we call in the trade a swap out. Here is our swap out. I once went on a camping trip up to Baxter State Park in Maine and I took a big container full of these stuffed peppers. We all had a feast. We didn't catch any fish that day, not so good. So here is our filling, seasoned with a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and voila, that's it. You can now stuff the peppers. So here's our casserole. We've sliced and seeded some plum tomatoes. This will be the base of our stuffed peppers. And just line a casserole. You can do this in a enameled cast iron Dutch oven, or you can do it in a casserole like this. So there, that's just about enough. And some sprigs of thyme in the bottom, just for added flavor. And you'll eat the tomatoes. I'll make kind of a puree in the bottom. And some lovely sprigs of chervil. You could use some oregano if you like, sage, whatever. I have a little herb garden outside my kitchen door and I'm always snipping. And now to fill the peppers, use a large spoon and ladle right into the pepper itself. I don't even add any more salt and pepper. You can, but you can season afterward. So this will get stood up right there. Another pepper and just fill nice and full. Don't pack. If you pack, it might split the pepper. This should be enough to fill six large bell peppers. Take it from me, my mom never wasted a grain of rice. So here goes the other one. Oh, this looks so pretty. Now place the little tops around the peppers. 
after they're cooked, you can put them back on. I'll be a little bit like Big Martha. Here, this one needs a little bit more. We called my mom Big Martha, even though she was about well, maybe five inches shorter than I. Okay, so here, ready to go into the oven. I'm going to make a little envelope out of aluminum foil, but I don't want the foil touching the peppers. Now, a little sprinkling of olive oil down the sides of the peppers. And cover with parchment. We don't like the metal touching the food. And fold up your envelope. They'll steam a little bit, and you can open them up to brown them if you want at, for the end. But these go into a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes, and then uncover them for another 10 minutes. Now, fresh out of the oven, don't you think they look really good? I'm gonna eat one, and then I'm gonna take the rest to my daughter, Alexis, and her kids. Her kids love stuffed peppers. And uh, put the little top right here just to prop it up. A tiny sprinkling of olive oil. A little bit of chopped chervil for color. And you have a delicious one-dish meal.